141 pounds, Mitch McKee for the Gophers, Peter Lapari for Rutgers. Major decision for the Gophers at 125. Nick Soriano and Rutgers answer with a tech fall at 133. They lead it five to four. Mitch McKee, a junior, just one loss on the season. That was to A.C. Headley from North Carolina. Yeah, Mitch McKee up to 141. Everybody moved up. That's why Sean Russell really fit in so good at 125. Lezak going up to 33. McKee up, Thorne up. And uh, the weight issues aren't the same. And McKee coming off a knee injury and uh, knee scope. Um, but uh, he's starting to get back into form. And boy, he can get going fast. He goes 0 to 60. In about 2.5 seconds, he is a quick starter. You talk about a guy that lets the set, the tempo, and the tone immediately, Mitch McKee. Yeah, and physically, he's a horse. I mean, and he was at 133, but he uh, looks at right here. He has a lot of physical strength. McKee out of St. Michael, Elbertville. Was fourth at the Big Tens a year ago. Yeah, what I like about that there is McKee um, doing a nice job of keeping things uh, uh, more basic than normal because he's a big move guy. But uh, he has set up a couple of takedowns there that were done from great setups, good position, lowered his level, drove through and got the two. But both times, Lapari, quick action to get out for the one. Yeah, McKee likes to put on a show. Great success in Greco was a junior world silver medalist in 2017, U23. Team member as well. Six-time Fargo National Champion, four in Greco, two in freestyle. Likes the big moves, as you said. And Mitch McKee reminds a lot of Gopher fans of one Dylan Ness. Don't blink. It can get exciting quickly. Well, and when Dylan Ness was uh, doing his best at the Big Tens and the NCAAs, you would be able to go back, look at the video, and he was doing the basics very, very well. Yes, big uh, big move, always dangerous. But when he was winning and doing his best, you could go back and see the fundamentals were being followed. And that's why it's so important for Mitch McKee. If he's going to have a lot of success and go deep, it's going to be because things are clicking from a fundamental basic standpoint. Then he's always got the big move is, it moves in his arsenal. On the strength of a couple of takedowns, 4-2. One, One minute, another attack there by McKee. Opportunity here for his third takedown. Lapari out of Byram Township, New Jersey, Redshirt Jr. Yeah, Lapari doing a nice job of making this takedown attempt long. Slowing it down right here and making McKee work for it. And that's why if you can scramble, that's what it does. Do not let somebody like McKee get too many quick takedowns. And nice job by Lapari there. That was great work from Lapari, able to tie up the ankles, force a stalemate. He wins the position. We're back to our feet just over a half a minute. Lapari wrestled well at the Midlands, coming off then on understanding that he can compete. He can compete well against the best. And, and I would say because of his performance at the Midlands, because you have Van Brill, Michael Van Brill, who's been in and out of the lineup for uh, uh, Rutgers, I would say that leading the race now, the horse race for 141, might be Lapari right here because of his performance at the Midlands. Won three matches at the Midlands. McKee on the snap down there, really works ahead, come underneath, throws through the hips, and uh, comes across, gets the two. And like we said, Lapari getting out real fast with that hip heist. McKee powerful at the weight class, as you mentioned, TJ. Loves to work under hooks. He's got that world-class head pinch. Sinks a half Nelson in as they wrestle at the edge. McKee. Good awareness, keeping his left foot in We're bounds, off. building riding time, and now back to the center. Yeah, 
Go ahead and get set. Make sure we hold to the whistle. Of pace is going to be a pause to the, to the whistle hold because uh, uh, he has had problems in the past uh, with the pace slowing down in the third period, and has to really understand how to have a steady pace so that he is uh, moving as hard and as effective in the third period as he is in the first. Last season, a 13-second pin, the second fastest pin in program history. Solid work on top. Looking for some near fall points is McKean. He's going to get him. Yeah, nice job of sucking him back there, trapping that arm and elevating the leg. Nice suck back from the top for two. McKee widens the gap with the near fall. Now 6-2. Last year, one match shy of earning All-American honors. Shin flick. Left hand, shin flick. Brother Patrick on the team as well. And more near fall here for McKee. You give up your wrist to McKee, it's going to be trouble. And this is what McKee needs to do in this match right now as we look forward to some... Uh, rather toss-up matches. It could be that the extra points, the bonus points make the difference. McKee here in a situation that he can get it. He needs to keep wrestling hard and come back in the same point. Lapari needs to just compete hard, fight, and he's been called for stalling here. Head was buried on the mat. I'd say that uh, McKee has a lot to do with that, with the uh, pretty much parallel working on the arm behind the back there. Sometimes when you get called for stalling, it's more about being overpowered than it is actually stalling. Had the hammer lock, did McKee switched off as he slid in an R bar, now back to a hammer lock. A lot of pressure for McKee on top. As we all know, you break guys in the top position. And Lapari in survival mode as we close the second period. Tight waist into the tilt for a nice job. Past 45 degrees for a couple of counts right there. So he gets the two points. Riding time over two minutes for the goal for McKee as he'll start third period on bottom up by 6-8-2. Is that right knee? McKee, quad potting up. 141 with Lapari and Van Brill. Lapari with the opportunity this afternoon. And he will cut McKee. Effectively, a major decision for McKee right now. Takedown of some kind would be huge for Lapari and Rutgers. You stay in there and fight. You look for the scramble, the opportunity, and anything, anything can happen. Good shot there below the knee from McKee, has an angle. Lapari though has his right ankle. This is where you stay in, that you, you get in that scramble right there, and you work that really hard, and you keep this going to a stalemate, although right now the cover, nice job by McKee, but good effort by Lapari. Just not at the same level as Mitchell McKee, who is looking awful good today. That's some good savvy by the junior McKee. Tack on two more, 11 to two score. Red, bottom, you're worn, bottom, you're worn. Another stall call on Lapari, a point for McKee. McKee really committed on top. He's not just hovering, he's uh, got a real lot of commitment, getting out on the toes, putting a lot of pressure on Lapari. If he's able Stretched to turn him out. for four, doesn't have a whole lot of time, but he can still get a tech fall. He's got 15 seconds to work with. McKee looking for another tilt, defended by Lapari, so it will be a major decision for Mitchell McKee with the riding time, 13-2. McKee looking great at the new weight class, 141. 